hey guys welcome to coding simplified and today we'll solve a new problem in linked list where our aim is to give the length of the loop so if there is any loop so give me the length of the loop so in my previous tutorial we explained that how we can give that if there is any loop or not and in today's problem we'll give the length of the loop so let's say if this is a linked list and uh, you can see this is a 25 so 25 should be the last element but it is pointing to 99 not null so which is creating a loop in linked list so uh, in this case our length is 4 like it is starting from here so the 1 not 2 3rd 4 right so our answer should be 4 so what we'll do like in our previous logic we'll first of find out that whether there is a loop or not and if there is any loop then we'll start the pointer and we'll rotate in the loop and we'll give the length of the loop so how so what we'll do we'll create a two pointer first the slow pointer and fast pointer and we'll jump slow pointer by one position and fast pointer by two position so if there is any loop so they will meet at a position so like in this case if slow is here and fast is here so slow will move here then fast will move here then again slow will move here and fast will move here now slow will move here and fast will move here so at the last when slow will come here fast will also come here right so in our case the 25 is the meeting point now what we will do we will keep one node as a static and we will iterate the another loop and we will check that if fast dot if slow dot next is equals to fast means this node then that is my length right so we will say 1 then 2 then 3 length then 4 length so now we'll see that whether this is working fine or not through our code. So this is my linked list and here as I explained and that my the next the last pointer is basically is pointing to the head of next right. So basically it's pointing to head of next. Now what it will do will pass the head node. So in length of loop basically first of all as I explained we'll find out that whether there is a loop or not right. So we'll take two pointers, slow and fast, which is pointing to head at the starting. Now we'll keep, we'll keep increasing slow by one position and fast by two position until fast dot next is not null and fast dot next dot next is not null. So this will make ensure that if there is uh, not loop, so it will exit from the loop, right? Now, whenever there is a loop, we'll break and then we'll check that if slow equal to fast, if slow equal to fast then it means both are at same position and then we'll will stay at will stay fast at one position and will increase slow by by one position and as we are increasing we are increasing the length by one position so if there is a loop so they will again meet at the same point right so that is our length of the loop right so as you can see that if slow equal to fast and while slow dot next is not equal to fast then we are increasing slow equal to slow dot next and at every increasing at every iteration we are increasing length by one position and at the last length plus one because uh, because the length will be the three plus one so basically we are finding the count the node count right so our length of the loop basically is the, the length of nodes the number of nodes in the loop so at the last it will give me the length so let's see and run the program that whether it works fine or not so this is basically the loop right you got the point this is basically the loop that your head is pointing to the next so, so basically the next is pointing to head of next now let's see by debugging that whether it is working fine or not so first of all we are checking that if there is a loop so yes so now there is a loop so uh, here you can see slow and fast both are same which is meeting at 25 now we are iterating and we are increasing length by one so now you can see that here it has printed the length is four right now uh, let's say my head is my last point is pointing to head not head of next so which is basically the this case so now earlier 25 was pointing to the this one which was head of next now 25 is pointing to 12 which is the head node so now our length of loop should be 5 right so first of all it will check that whether it is a loop or not and then it will iterate the 
loop right so let me show you by debugging so now first of all it is checking that whether there is a loop or not so yes it found out yes there is a loop exist and the loop is at 12 so now it is iterating and increasing the length again by plus 1 and at the last it will return you the 5 right which is the length of the loop but now let's say there is no loop at all so it should so it is negative case so now let's see so it should return me zero right because there is no loop exist so debug it again and so now you can see this slow and fast are not equal it means that uh, there was no loop so if there is no loop so we have identified length as zero at the starting so it will return zero as simple right so this is how uh, we have seen that how we can find out the length of the loop if there is in a uh, linked list and the complexity of the problem is big of n because we are traversing the uh, each node once and uh, so that's it that's it guys for this video we have seen how to find out the length of the loop and in next tutorial we'll see that if there is a loop so how to remove that loop right so what does it mean it means that uh, if there is a loop so we need to uh, we need to point the next of this last node to the null right so by this way we will remove the loop so please check that video which is the ne next video and uh, please like the video and subscribe the channel if you like the video thanks